Hey guys, it's Beverly Potato here, and today I'm going to be doing a video basically just talking about a subject that hasn't really been talked about a lot, I don't think. But I did this video yesterday, and I don't think I did a very good job on it. I'm going to edit it and see if I like that one more than this one, but we'll see. Um, but today I... I got a notebook here with all the different topics of the subject I want to talk about so I can keep myself on track because yesterday I got a little bit um, all over the place with stuff that I didn't need to talk about. But as you saw from the title, I'm going to be talking about trans species, other kin, just the subject of that basically. But first thing on here is the definition. Um, these people are not trans species, I guess you can call them that if you want to, but that's not the actual definition, um, of these people. The, like, it's an urban definition because it's not really a known thing for everyone in the world right now. Only a few people have, like, read up on it and studied it and have, like, thought that these people are actually real people and are just asking for attention as some people believe. But the definition of a trans species person is other kin. That is the urban dictionary definition that these people have come up with because they are either partly or completely inhuman in their hearts and in their minds. It's it's a strange thing I know people don't like think it's real people are just saying that they are a different thing because of various amounts of reasons but I do believe some people are doing this for attention I'm not saying that we're all just saying this because it's who we are or whatever but some people are just doing this for attention but some people are really actually other kin and um, that was the definition. They're either partly or completely inhuman in the heart and in the mind. And there are several different types of other kin. I'm going to be looking over here because it has my categories on it. But there are several different kinds of other kin. And it's not, it's, it's not like objects or anything. They're not like toasters and bananas and stuff like that. It's it's animals and things that people believe don't exist. Um, for example, like the wolf guy that people have seen on Facebook and um, YouTube and stuff. He's um, a wolfkin. And then the cat woman who believes she's a cat and speaks cat and all those things, she's catkin. And there's several other types like elfkin, vampirekin, foxkin, and like several other amounts of different things and um, I know that um, these people sometimes are actually real because I myself am an other kin and um, I don't like talking about it with other people because they think I'm crazy or they'll make fun of me or just like diss it and just keep saying I'm human or whatever but I'm not human. I may appear human, that is how I look, I know that, but I'm not. On the inside, I am a demon. I'm from demon kin. I'm supposed to have wings, I'm supposed to have red eyes, and right now, I have temporary fangs in that I'm gonna get um, dentistry caps later on, so I can just have those permanently, because I'm supposed to have those and I don't. And again, with my wings, I don't have those, but I really wish I did because they're a big part of who I feel I should be, how I should look, you know? And there, it's not just me that feels this way. There's a lot of other people that um, have these different things on them that they don't actually have. Like, um, for example, the Catwoman. I can't really um, remember her name, sadly. But she has cat ears, she has a tail, and those those things are all invented. You can, like in Japan, they have ears that move, they have a tail that goes with your emotions and stuff like that. 
and that's good for them. I'm happy that they have those things at their, you know, expense. They can buy those things to make themselves feel like more of themselves. And I'm happy that we have eye contacts and fangs and, like, viable wings, but they don't move. They're just, like, there, and they don't last very long. They're more, like, costume than they are just wearable, you know what I mean? And, um... I hope that eventually they do invent some type of wearable wing that you can move. Kind of like the Japanese thing where it moves with your emotion or something like that. But that's just me and I, I'm i saying that it's not just me that wants that. I'm sure other people have thought like, oh, I wish they had this invented or this invented. But um, the definition for feeling things that aren't actually there that you're supposed to have are called phantom limbs and the um basically what that is is a body part that you do not have but you feel it every day of your life it's exactly how i'm sorry if this offends anybody but it's like how a veteran comes home from war and he lost a part of his arm or his leg or something like that he can still feel it it's he feels it there but it's not there and that's how it is for a lot of us as well i just hope that they can create some of those things for us later in the future after we're more known to the world if you want to say that and um if you want to further like find out what an other kin is just for definition, you search up definition of otherkin, and it'll give you a definition and a website to go to. The website will have a picture of a man who surgically cre made his face more like a cat, and he'll have piercings and tattoos and stuff like that. And he'll look a little strange to you, most likely, because it's not what you're normally used to seeing. But that's how he wanted to look, because he's part of catkin. And on the website... They're going to say that we're lurking around on Tumblr, Tumblr and different social media websites and I don't think that's um, really nice to say. They're, say they're, like, they're portraying us as bad people and that we're just faking our, our, just our feelings and how we feel about ourselves and everything like that and I don't think that's right. It's like the same thing with hate crimes on gender types and stuff like that and I'm not dissing that I love gender equality I'm all about that you have no idea how about that I am but um sorry I'm a bit nervous because this video is gonna be on YouTube and it already is obviously now that I'm talking to you if you're listening but people some people are not gonna accept us if you're listening to this and you're part of the other kin community they're not going to accept us and it's really hard to be completely open about our society and all those things sorry off track again and I'm looking up because I get a little nervous and again this this is this video is important and needs to go up but I want to do it right so people understand that I'm not just saying these things to say them. I'm saying them for the betterment of the community that I am a part of and I want to help us. Um, there's also another website that you can go to. To um, There's like, um, I think, over 50 or 100 questions. I haven't looked recently, but there's over 50 or 100 questions and it, it'll ask you several different questions about your personality, um, how your life has been, how you felt throughout your life, if you have these attributes, if you think this way, if you do this or you do that, or these things have happened when you do certain things. And those questions will basically help you um, to identify if you're another kin or if you're not, if you're not sure if you are, or you're like you think you might be but you don't know what um, kin you're part of. That'll help you decide which one you're a part of most because I wasn't sure at the beginning either because all through my life I felt completely out of place in the world of humans and I've never considered myself a human 
to other people. They call me human and I'm I just tell them no, I'm I'm not a human. I and they ask me what am I and I just say I'm inhuman. I'm not going to tell them what I say I am unless I really trust them because they won't accept it and they'll think that I'm just crazy or trying to get attention. And I'm not doing that. So I just tell them I'm I'm just not human. I'm inhuman. Just don't call me that, please. And um most of the time they'll they'll understand if like they are actually like are your friend or they know you and they're not thinking you're just crazy or something like that. Yeah, I didn't know at the beginning of um like when I was really young I didn't know. I just knew that I wasn't supposed to be part of the human world. I always felt like I was supposed to be different. I was supposed to look different. I never accepted that I looked this way. I always knew that I was supposed to have these different attributes. I have felt wings on my back since I was really young. I have dreams almost every night, unless they're nightmares, that I have wings or different powers or things like that. And uh, that also might sound like strange or weird, but it's a, it's a psychological thing that you can't get rid of because it's a part of you. I've been trying to find the right contacts, trying to find better fangs, trying to find wings that I can wear every once in a while to just get a feel of how I'm supposed to look, you know what I mean? And um, I hope you guys all can do that too if you're an other kin like me. And um, again, I hope people learn to accept us with what we are. Um, I know there's people out there who believe that they're not even from this world. They're, they're aliens. And they were just put on this earth from their home planet and to study us and things like that. And I understand that completely. I will believe you as long as you... If, if you have, like, a backstory and you're not just trying to tell me bullshit that's completely unreal unrealistic and not true, and I can tell it's not true because of the way you're acting with it, and you're just trying to create a story, um, I will believe you as long as you're not doing that. And um, I hope we can just respect each other with everything we have and how we feel about ourselves. And... I would love it if just everyone could get along and we could try and help each other feel better about ourselves. Um, I hope that this has been informative and you check out the websites and you learn more about our kind, unless you are part of my kind, and I hope you find others like yourself and us. And if you want to find me on Instagram to talk about this, if you are part of our community, my Instagram is raven underscore um, the potato, I believe. It changes for some reason. Like, it glitches and then it switches my name to my previous name. But, yeah, I'll, I'll put it down here to make sure it's the same and you guys can find me on there. But you can find me on Instagram and you can talk to me about it. And I'll help you get through whatever you're trying to get through. And if you want any advice or anything, um, feel free to find me on Instagram and, and ask me. I hope some people see this and they realize that they are not alone in this kind of situation. Because I felt this way my entire life and um, I'm, I want to help people be true to themselves and actually like who they are and what they are. Even if they don't look exactly how they're supposed to. I hope uh, all of you have a chance to listen and really think about what I said. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one.